There are several reasons why this yellow vest movement is so powerful, and many people are missing this. Number one is the fact that it was spontaneous and organic. So not only is it not funded and backed by the powers that be, something that we see very, very often here in, in the world, uh, many of these movements, especially ones that involve color rev re revolutions, uh, are indeed 100% backed by rich Anglo-American elitists and sometimes even intelligence agencies, but not this one. And also, it was spontaneous, so it was sudden, out of nowhere. And this has a powerful effect on globalists and elitists because they're just not expecting it. And it's the element of surprise uh, that works so well in any war, whether it is physical or psychological. And that obviously had a huge effect on uh, the decisions of Macron as a result of these protests. Uh, but I think, personally, the most powerful aspect of the Yellow Vest movement is the fact that it's so visual and cohesive. There is absolutely no doubt that these people are here for a purpose and a single purpose, uh, a very, very broad purpose, that being the elitists are abusing them. People like Macron in France are abusing them. The fact that even after Macron has decided to concede on some of these demands, putting a hold on the fuel tax, raising the minimum wage, abolition of taxes on overtime pay, these are just crumbs and the people have spoken that this is about more than just these little, thi these little things about the fuel tax. More than just raising the minimum wage, we're unhappy with you. You're abusing us. You're an abusive leader. And we've had enough. So they're continuing to protest even after these concessions, and that's the proof. The yellow vest aspect of this is very powerful, though, because visually it literally looks like a sea of people united for a singular cause, and that is we want Macron out. We want these elitists out. And that is extremely powerful, visually speaking. It's the same reason why if you, you, know, you have a dream that you're trying to pursue, you make a vision board. The big question everyone, of course, is asking now is, is this movement going to spread? And in reality, even though the hub of everything was in France, you did have Belgium and Netherlands protesting with France uh, wearing the yellow vests. And yes, they were pro protesting uh, things related to uh, taxes and fuel prices and uh, just general you know, um, dissatisfaction with the leaders as well. Um, but we also had in Sweden and in Canada uh, a yellow vest protest that uh, had more to do with the UN migration pact. We also had people in Greece and Montenegro standing uh, in unison with the people of France wearing the yellow vests. And many are asking, is this going to spread? Are we going to see a European spring 2019 or a global spring 2019? And my answer to that question is, yup, we are. And we already are seeing signs of this uh, we have in Egypt the government clamping down on yellow vest sales to avoid copycat protests. And in Tunisia, activists launching a red vest campaign. So it doesn't really matter the color, folks. <laughs> red, yellow. Consider this a vest mo uh, movement, if anything. Uh, the color is quite frankly irrelevant as long as you see a color and everybody's wearing the same color. It's very powerful. And the only reason really that it, you know, it was yellow, the yellow vest movement in France, is because everybody was required by law to carry one in their vehicle <laughs> in case of an emergency. So everyone had one already, right? Um, but 
now you have this uh, movement spreading or potentially spreading to other countries, even in the Middle East. And there's even talk of a orange vest campaign that will hit the streets in the United States this spring. Because a lot of hunters wear orange and, it, you know, this, that, and the other. Um, it doesn't really matter what color it is. Like I said, this is what people are discussing. And I would suggest this will probably happen, but not until the spring. And I know a lot of you are saying, well, if you really believe in something, you got to get out there and protest, even if it's cold. But l- let me tell you, folks, the average person, <laughs> it matters. If it's freezing outside, they ain't going to do it. That's why. I'm predicting the spring. You're going to see a lot of protesting across the whole world against the elites. And you're going to see it, especially in the the countries that have leaders that uh, are just not listening to them. A lot of that will be in Europe. And I think you'll see it somewhat in North America as well, in Canada. Uh, In the countries that uh, have populist leaders, you probably won't see this. I don't think you'll see a huge yellow vest or orange vest movement in the United States or in Mexico or in um, in, in many of these countries uh, that are electing the populist leaders. That's my take on the issue. Let me know what you think. If you believe in what I do here at Press Reset Earth, please like, subscribe, share this video, and become a patron. Links for that in the description box below. It's been Press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.